It's spring break season, but if, you're travel, if you have travel plans, if you have any, they're probably a lot different. Our national investigative team analyzed flight data from the last couple of years, and since the pandemic began, flights have been slashed nationwide, in some places by more than half. Investigate TV's Sandra Jones looks at the cities that lost the most in Grounded. Grounded flights, empty airports, and annoyed consumers. We didn't plan on a pandemic happening. In February 2020, Robert Cohen and his wife booked a May trip to Sunset Beach in Tampa, Florida. The couple couldn't wait to go. We found out a few weeks before the flight was to take place that it was going to be canceled. The airlines issued a travel voucher and they booked a September flight to visit family in South Carolina. But that flight got canceled too. The Coens ended up driving the 11 and a half hours to Myrtle Beach. So you really haven't gotten any satisfaction here? No. I feel as though I've gone through a lot of personal uh, frustration. Investigate TV analyzed nearly 800,000 flight records from the Bureau of Transportation Statistics from the last three years. We looked at April through September of 2019 compared to those same months in 2020. Airports in 14 states noticed more than half their flights cut. New York had a 68% drop in outgoing flights, and New Jersey saw a 67% reduction. Of the 10 major travel hubs with passenger traffic, data shows New York City had a 71% drop in outgoing flights, Washington, D.C. with a 58% decrease, and Houston down 50%. It's been a total domino effect. Michael Gula is the executive director for the Columbia Metropolitan Airport in South Carolina. You know, parking revenues are down, concession revenues are down, and uh, right now what we're trying to do is just work with all of our tenants to help them get through this period of time that, you know, we're all suffering through right now. Gula said they've experienced a 65% drop in travel. Do you know uh, at this point when uh, and if those flights will come back? We don't know exactly when. I am confident they will come back. When it comes to the airlines, our data analysis shows United flights were down by 67%, Frontier 56%, American 23%, and Delta at 27%. Charlie Leoka heads up one of the largest travel advocacy groups in the country. Everybody's not really cutting back based upon uh, just because they want to but they're cutting back because DOT has mandated that some places are cut back. He predicts that future flights will head in the right direction by year's end. So I, I think that we're going to have a fairly decent winter holiday season. The return will be led by um, uh, leisure travelers. It will be some time before business travelers really get into the act. Sandra Jones, Valley News Live. Investigate TV reached out to nearly a dozen airports based on the extent of their 2020 flight reductions. When asked about the cutbacks and service returning, the airports referred to the airlines for comment. Pilots are in demand again at United Airlines. The company said it plans to start hiring pilots after that was put on hold last year. United will bring on board about 300 pilots whose hiring classes were canceled because of the pandemic. But about a thousand other pilots have been on a voluntary leave of absence since September. The airline says it's not clear how many new pilots it will need down the line. Four different UND hockey players signed professional contracts today. Devin Fry brings us the details next in sports.